The fear of missing out disconnects us from people. It keeps us from enjoying the moment and it keeps us from accomplishing our goals. Most pilots don't understand what career opportunities are available in the world of aviation. They're making career decisions based on advice from friends or posts on internet forums, meaning they're taking huge risks with their livelihood without having all the details. This podcast was created to help you understand the aviation industry so you can find your dream job. Let's get ready for pushback. Here's your host and my dad, Nick Fialka. Hey, pilot. Welcome to the podcast. It's ready for pushback. And I'm Nick Fialka. And today is a cool day. It's a solo episode and it's great. It's sunny outside. It's a little windy. I hope wherever you are is nice and perfect. So... I have been thinking a lot about a phone call I got the other day. It was a listener who was a flight instructor. She was 22 and she was certain that she had missed the hiring wave, that she was cursed to being too young and that all the good jobs would be gone in 18 months when she had enough hours and enough age to hold an ATP. Another call I recently got was from a pilot in the military who was going to retire in two years after serving his country for the last two decades. Even though his story was completely different, he had the same fears as the young flight instructor. This warrior was terrified that he wouldn't be good enough to get the job as a professional pilot and support his family. Even though on the outside, he looked like a warrior on the inside, he was a worrier and FOMO is what we are talking about today. The fear of missing out. And really what we're talking about is anxiety, anxiety that other people are doing things that you are not. Anxiety that you are not as good as people think you are. Anxiety that you will be found out. That you shouldn't be loved. And all of this is a lie. The fear of missing out disconnects us from people. It keeps us from enjoying the moment and it keeps us from accomplishing our goals. No matter what your accomplishments are, FOMO doesn't stop. When I was trying to get into professional aviation, you've heard me talk about my best buddy, Don. He was a new hire first officer at Southwest. He had made it. He was a fighter pilot who had done hard things to get to where he is. And I was just a helicopter pilot. I could never get hired by a major. When I was at Envoy, I had FOMO every time I commuted and there was a pilot from American Airlines on my flight going down to Miami. Man, I wanted to be a mainline pilot. I made $2,800 a month and they would pick up a two-day trip on premium pay and cover more than that. I had FOMO when COVID hit and I thought I'd never get the chance to get hired. I even had it after I got hired by my major airline And I was doing countless interview preps for other people who were getting hired at FedEx and UPS. I was consumed with the fear of missing out. And then I realized something. I want to be limitless. I want to do all the things. If someone else can do it, I should be able to do it. Let me tell you about my friend Lawrence Nance. Lawrence was everything. He was a Navy pilot. He was a test pilot. He applied to the astronaut program and he made it all the way down to the final selection process through thousands of applicants. It was him and a few other people. He was the guy that would definitely be selected 110%. And then he had an unexpected medical issue pop up and it took him completely out of the running and he was not selected. And I did his final interview prep for his airline at the end 
I had a conversation with him about this and I said, man, are you, are you mad that you didn't get selected? You, you did all this stuff. You made it so far and then you didn't make it. How did you handle that? And you know what he said? Here's what he said. He said, it's okay. It isn't where I was supposed to be. And if it weren't for that event, I wouldn't have the chance to interview and change my family's entire trajectory. He didn't have fear of missing out, and he was okay with not getting what he had desired since he was a kid. And that really resonated with me. That is the thing that I will never forget, that we are where we are on our journey for a reason. There will be ups, there will be downs, there will be hiring booms, and then there will be furloughs. We can't control that. What we can control is what we are doing to put ourselves in the best position to succeed and win. And what we think is success today may not be success tomorrow. We need to understand that and we need to embrace it. We need to take a steady hand and a steadfast work ethic. We need a positive, virtuous outlook. And if we can do that, we will succeed. And we will find contentment. And that's what I want for you, is contentment. You know that you are good enough and that you cannot control the opportunities that are afforded to you. Know that if you remain focused and humble, your cup will be filled up and you will have a positive impact. Not every one of us will get the chance to be an astronaut or to fly for FedEx or to have a big house, or to have a Lamborghini, or to have whatever. But all of us can be love. All of us can embrace our destiny and know that it is worthy and honorable. And all of us can be fulfilled. So go out there and know that you are not missing out and that you are moving forward and you are doing great things. And when you get to where you want to go, settle and be there and be a great part of that team. It's right around the corner and you're getting there. So keep it going. And that's probably all I have to say. Thanks for listening to the podcast and I'll see you next week. Hey, before you jump out of here and go on to the next podcast, can I ask a big favor? Would you mind going over to your app that you're listening to this podcast on and give me a review? Give me a five-star review if you love it. Give me a one-star review if it totally sucks. Put a comment in there, something that is helpful. It helps me. It helps get the word out there. It helps people find the podcast, and that's super cool. If you don't do that, maybe you could just share the podcast with a friend. Tell a buddy who's trying to figure it out, trying to sort out this pilot dream of theirs and get a little bit further. That is super awesome as well. Last, if you don't do either of those two things, how about this? Find a way today to make yourself 1% better. Do that thing that you've been putting off. Put your foot forward, make movement, get yourself going, get that inertia that you need to succeed in this industry. So that's your choice. Leave a review, tell a friend, or make yourself better. Either way, it's all a good choice. And I'm super stoked you're listening, and I will see you on the next episode. The statements made on this show are my own opinions and do not reflect, nor are they under any direction from my employer.